what's up and welcome back to another interview at the Future Blockchain Summit Dubai Day 1. I'm Adele, the host, and today I'm with Daniela from Dynex. Daniela, we just met. I have no idea what you do, but I would love for the people who are watching to know your story. So go ahead and tell us who you are. My name is Daniela Herman. I'm a serial entrepreneur. Um, we brought to the market Quantum as a service. So we are now the world's first solution solving real world problems at scale. Interesting. And we're very proud of it. Quantum computing is a buzzword that many people have thrown around, but I think many f or very few actually understand or grasp the concept of what quantum computing is. Since you are in this field, maybe you would like to give a quick brief to our audience about what is quantum computing. Yeah, so what is quantum computing at the end of the day? It is really overcoming complexities we haven't been overcoming over many years now. Right. Um, it is also solving as such a computational issue. Right. And we are active now and going to be active in AI, for example, because as you know, in AI, there are limits to compute. The more complex it gets. If you right. take ChatGPT, they do have issues of computation. Right. If you take that in the automotive industry as well, and as same is for other industries such as financial industry, such as the gaming industry. So everywhere where you have complexity coming in, you now have a solution that makes you compute easier. Interesting, okay. And what problem do you solve as um, uh, Dynax? What does Dynax solve exactly? It is. It's so called in the in the uh, in the industry. You can say it can solve toy problems. Toy problems are problems of smaller scale computational challenges that get solved. And real world problems means really weather prediction. You know, certain super complex situations that you can then compute and find solutions for, make it feasible and make it predictable. So it's, it's mainly research and mainly you're, you're, you're enhancing knowledge. No, it's not just research. You can use it also for complex logistic plannings, for logistic companies. You can use it for certain uh, dynamics that are related to, for example, architectural challenges such as statics of houses, hmm. right? You can use it for 3D printing solutions. So it really is a next generation of computation coming up as much as everything with a personal computer came, we're entering into a new mega cycle. I see, but the, the, the ultimate output is information. The ultimate output is a, an information as such, yes. which can be predictability, which can be yes. a solution, which can be, yes. So that's why, I, for the, again, for the audience sake, yes. um, summarized, it's enhancing information, enhancing research into, di Better, like, undiscovered, untapped information. Exactly. Understood. That's exactly. a good way of, of putting it. Okay. It's also, I mean, you could go as far as, you know, it overcomes time and space, right? Quantum is really something, if you take a simple example, like a lot of people do, you flip a coin. Yes. And it's heads or tails. Yes. And quantum is not just heads or tails like computation has done. Computation today is binary, 01, 01. Yes. And heads and tails is 01, right? Yes and everything in between, and heads and tails, and heads and tails at the same time, that's quantum. Uh -huh. So that means if you have a labyrinth, a maze, where the mouse looks for the way to go, and the mouse searches, right, goes to a wall, searches the other, the quantum pictures the maze and solves it immediately. Oh, I see. So it's, it's a different dynamic approach towards solving real world problems. Anyway. Okay, that's a good way of putting it. I like that. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. What, uh, what, what's the best way for the audience to find out more information about your company? So you can find out certainly a lot on the Discord channel and you can find out on www.dynex.co a lot of information. And we also have a further entity which is focusing on moonshots, which is called Dynex Moonshots, which you find on www.dynexmoonshots.com. And that supports everything around society, health, nature, and space as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for that. Uh, I want to say thank I you think, for your time. I think one more little yeah, thing. Yeah, sure. It's one of the first world's ethical 
integer technologies. What does that mean? Cutting edge technology normally doesn't get launched with an ethical integrity background. We've set up on technology everything what is possible to make this ethical integer what we're doing because quantum is a responsibility and we build that into our infrastructure. Our infrastructure is a Dynex coin which is a utility token. We have a blockchain and own layer one and we have the subscription model and okay. we're the world's first. I think we can leave it there. We'll wrap up. But I think you. we could definitely have a second round on a more podcast level one-to-one. -one. Beautiful. And that I we can unravel the whole rabbit hole of, yeah. of quantum mechanics. Yeah, because it's so difficult sometimes, yeah. right? To where do you want to go with the conversation? Exactly. But I do want to thank you for your time. Thank I appreciate you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this thank insightful. You. If you were perplexed like me, do some more research about this. We'll leave all the links in the description. Do check this space out. It's, it is booming. But thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you. Thank Let's you. Let's go. Thank you.